like Roy. I think Roy's broken, but I just don't think Roy fit me enough. Up. Rob, though, Rob fits what I want to do here in Ultimate so much more. And now he's going to go up against Rap, going to PS2 to start the widest stage in Ultimate. And that, even though it's a starter, might be a little bit of a benefit for Sonic. Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, so uh, you can see that the neutral game obviously going to slow down to a crawl. As uh, If any player kind of commits pretty hard here, uh, they, they get punished. Punished thoroughly. Obviously, Rob going to be uh, the name of the game when it comes to advantage state here. Off the side here already, Wrath is in a danger zone. Yeah, and Zama put him in a position where he said, hey, if you come in, you're going to hit by top. Oh, you want to pick up top? Well, guess what? I meant just the perfect space in it. I can punish that for you, too. And even though we're not seeing Zama, you know, look for his own item combos, he's using it as a bait to literally reel in Rap like a fishing rod and catch him with a punish. It's absolutely so smart, and he's slowing this pace of the game down perfectly, saying Sonic might get to go coast to coast, but you're not getting to go there on your own terms. Yeah, exactly. But speaking of coast to coast, Rath has took it Zamba off the side, but <laughs> this robot can fly. Really high recovery there for Zamba to kind of put his feet back, right back on the ground. And that's something we've seen a lot more from Roy, or from Rob's in recent months, right? Because when you do an aerial out of that special move state from the up B, right? Hey, it actually counts as a special move instead of an aerial. So you get less lag on shield build. Moves are a lot safer, and you're able to just not be contested even off parry with this neutral air. Speaking of Ooh. contesting neutral air, though, Rath's back air just beats it straight out and evens up the stock count just like that. Yeah, and that takes timing because Rob Nair is very notorious for, like, if you don't kind of try to contest it at the right timing, you're just going to straight up lose out to it. Uh, that thruster has a little bit of a disjoint, uh, to say the least, but Rath obviously playing around it perfectly. Yeah, the spin dash cancel, but Zamba ready, trying to snipe you out with a gyro. However, Rath, right, ever the patient one, waits in shield, pounces after the fact, gets the coast, and he goes, now he has the item, but not in the range to get punished. However, Zamba says, okay, you threw it away, that's my time to take the stage back. Instead, every, every commitment, whether it's an item toss, an item pickup, it doesn't matter. Zamba is ready to be aware for the punish. However, he's not aware of the spring, and that's going to be a rare mistake from him. Yeah, he was not... Not aware of the bottom blast zone there, but now he's very comfortable and friends with it here as he lost the second stock just right after the bottom there. Yeah, now Wrath with the lead, right? That one completely flips, flips the matchup on its head. Mm -hmm. Zama getting that first stock first means that Wrath doesn't get to play that defensive camping game that he wants to, but here, if he wants to just run away for the next four and a half minutes, I mean, he very well could, even though, hey, right now he's just racking up this advantage state. Yeah, but <laughs> it almost turned on its head very immediately, so this probably woke up Wrath, and now he's going to kind of just play on the other side of the stage and only go in when Zama gives him the opportunity to. Yeah, Zama here looking for these back airs, right? The Zombears, if you will, mm -hmm. just trying to to find the raw callouts he's known for. I like the air dodge to conserve fuel, keep the mix-ups going, and just, again, hold on to that resource. A lot of robs will just burn it quickly. They say, hey, why would I just burn my air dodge when I don't need to? Well, the answer is, hey, maybe you want to save that fuel instead. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But uh, this is still looking kind of tough here for Zombo. The extra credit is insane. Does get the up air, but 126 in a Sonic with four minutes. Uh, I don't like your chances. No, I, I mean, it's hard, but it's certainly not undoable. All it takes is one hit for Rob. If you find a juggle, maybe like this, you get the grab, push them to the ledge, and Zama very capable of finding the read, finding the air dodge, or that uh, on the air dodge with a back air, a down air, and calling you out. You just need to not get hit yeah. like that. You need to keep your space, use the lasers, use the top to slow it down, and when you miss once, Sonic draws no quarter. Yeah, yeah, and I mean... That's one of the most powerful things about Sonic. Yes, he's hard to catch initially at first, but also he's so evasive even when you're hitting him. I mean, a very fast air dodge, uh, that spring to get out of combos. It's just tough to pin this character down. Yeah, and I mean, listen, I think Sonic himself says it best, right? Mm -hmm. You're too slow. Yeah. But yeah. it doesn't matter how fast you are. It doesn't matter your reaction time because if you aren't perfect, if you aren't dialed in, if you do not have them read like a book, you're not catching that blue blur. Yeah, yeah, a tough position to be put in, but obviously Zamba has been in rougher spots and come out on top. The kid has gumption, he has pride, and uh, honestly, that type of stuff just drives him to victory, so I wouldn't be surprised if it happens here. Yes, sir, this man, when he is down, he is not out. You know that this man wants to talk the talk and walk the walk, and this man is fueled by the stuff he gets to say in those winner's interviews. He wants to give one here, but if he's going to do so, he's going to have to find a way get these lasers to hit Wrath or something to slow this game down because going to such a large stage gives Wrath so much room to run around. Oh yeah, oh yeah. 
and then running around he is doing, whether it be in spin form or just dashing. Uh, a lot of people, you know, they complain about the spin dash, like, aha, spin dash again. But Sonic's dash is also super powerful, and you see all the top Sonics utilize that to kind of just put their opponent at disadvantage because just how fast Sonic can cover ground. There, Zamba was trying to get the you, Wrath caught in those spin to us jump timings where he has to land on platform to trap the landing. Mm. Wrath jumping just early enough to avoid it, but now the spin dash, the homing attack there on shield is such a commitment that Zamba is able to keep the commitment going, and he's starting to call out these early springs yeah. perfectly, locks down the stock, and that's the way he needs to open these up. Yeah, great frame trap there from Zamba. Knew exactly what to do as soon as he air dodged that back air. Right now, though, he's just need, trying to find a way back to stage. Age still hasn't got those feet down. Has to burn the back air there because that fuel is starting to get low. Gets past stage with that same aerial, Ooh. but because of the spring, right? Wrath still able to get the punish, and Zama just not able to get away. Rob's one downside is that he is a pretty big boy. Yeah, yeah, he, he not like very unlike Sonic. He's very easy to pin down. This character huge and large and in charge. However, even though Sonic might be hard to pin down, man, Zamba doing a great job there, right? Backing up 36%, still holding on to this first stock, right now getting Wrath all the way into the mids, and still not enough. The wide hit of PS2, those 186 units, yes. right? 26 more than the next widest stage here in Ultimate. I mean, Zamba's Large. making full use of it. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. A big, a big character needs a big stage, and that's exactly how Zamba is utilizing this to its utmost potential. That spring almost set him up for failure there. Wrath almost finding a KO confirm off of that. But man, this is looking like a struggle. Sonic behind, you don't see that too often. No, sir, not especially not by this much. I don't know, 180 Rob is heavy, but we're not used to seeing him Ooh. live this long. Wrath finally gonna get the pickup with the back air to close it, or the back throw, sorry, to close it out and get some extra damage to boot Zamba, just too big to get away there, but still able to convert off the scramble. Now Wrath just trying to find a way to hold on to get away, and Zamba with those down tilts just says, there's nowhere to go except my loving robotic arm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, he just gets a grip on you with that down tilt and just continues the train, but um, no big KO confirm off of it, so Wrath is just gonna sit at 127, have to avoid all the big Rob stuff, while uh, also trying to exert his own pressure, because if he runs out the time, the clock here, he's in a losing position. Yeah, no, exactly, my friend. And here at 86, though, Zamba is percent is starting to climb. Wrath is bringing this one back just by slowing the game down, by not interacting, because Zamba says, is going, hey, I'm gonna just run in if you're gonna run away. And Wrath is just utilizing that perfectly to find these whiff punishes on the strings, where he could just be sitting back, utilizing that top, utilizing that laser, and just saying, okay, you're not gonna interact with me? Fine, I have the lead. <laughs> the lead, indeed, he does. 135, both players at super high rep percents. Honestly, I think they will accidentally kill each other. There, there goes the rotor arm. Not even, the, you know, the full mash there. Just need a little bit of a quick helicopter and uh, send Wrath to his last stop. Yes, sir, those lariats, right? It doesn't matter the character, it doesn't matter the game. It might be Zangief, it might be Rob. Well, guess what? It's gonna do the work all the same. The down tilt trying to get you in the beep boop between the top and a hard place. Instead, Wrath's gonna fight his way back on the coast to coast, but still not be able to push you off stage, not be able to convert the advantage stage, just having to run away and reset. But Zamba doesn't let you get away that easily, even if you are as fast as the speed of sound. Yeah, yeah, the speed of sound doesn't matter if he's wearing headphones. I, I think that works. <laughs> I think that works, Ritual, because right now Zamba is in the lead. Yes, sir. I mean, hey, it's a closed loop system. We don't even know if Rob can hear, man. That, that robot might be deaf. In the meantime, though, not able to find the trip, so Rob, Zamba gonna finally slow it down. Wow. Try to get the pivot on the toss, but the back air hurt box shifting you just underneath the top, and that's gonna be enough for Wrath to force the last dock situation. We've seen him rack on this damage before. Find the upper strength. This is huge. He could easily find an edge guard here if Zamba's not careful. Yeah, Wrath is farming for that falling up air to get as much damage as possible. And now Zamba's exactly where Wrath wants him. Gets the reset on the homing attack. But usually we see that back air come out. It just wasn't enough. But he's getting caught in a blender here in the corner. This has been 82 unanswered. And just like that, this game is back even. Even still, Zamba gets caught rolling from the edge. It's wow. going to be a bad habit. And Wrath going up 2-0. Zamba let that one slip through his fingers. And any adjustments he has left to make, any ideas he has as to what he can do, he needs to do now because he is running out of room to work with. This man might have won Genesis, but if he wants to add patchwork to his resume, he's got some work to do against the home region hero. Yeah, he has to lock in here. It's a little tough. That That's the type of game, especially against a character like Sonic, you do not want to lose, where you had the momentum, you had the lead for most of the set, and then it all just fell through your grasp. 
And then going back to PS2 again, I can't say I'm the biggest fan of this, right? We've seen two games in a row now, right? Zamba take a big lead. Rap yeah. just last stock say, hey, I might be a kill percent. Okay, I'm gonna slow it down. I'm gonna not interact. And Zamba just let him use this big stage to his advantage. He needs to go somewhere that Rap can't get farther away from him. But if he wants another chance, I mean, now the whole set's gonna be played here because guess what? Zamba's down 2-0 on PS2. Yeah, yeah, I mean, hey. Uh PS2 is where everybody's comfortable. It's where the best games are made. So uh, Zamba's just going to run it back here and, and headstrong like always going to try to make it work. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And, you know, it also makes me wonder if Zamba still hasn't kind of gotten the full download here on Wrath yet because this is also the stage a lot of players go to, right, to scope each other out, get a feel for each other's game plans. And Wrath showing those late game adjustments so many times that Zamba just... Hasn't Ooh. been able to lock it down yet. The back air, not going to do it yet. The Zombie are even coming up short now. And Zamba is just starting to try in anything just to get a game. Yeah, yeah. Just to get a game. Just to get self on the board, which is something you don't see too often. You know, Zamba's always wants to put up a fight. But uh, there goes the fair, and it actually takes a stock if we are... At a scenario where Zamba could put up a nasty lead here. Well, but at 155, right, he can put up that lead, but he has to find a way through. Finally calling out those, those spin jumps right mm -hmm. across. The Sonic aerial cross up that is so hard to cover. You can't do it on reaction. You just have to call it out. This is the first time we're seeing Zamba do so. Oh, and hey, while it's Raph's tag that's fearless and Zamba's is his girlfriend, I mean, hey, he needs that love, support, and some fearlessness of his own if he's going to keep this lead growing. Yeah, and on top of all that, I feel like leaving Gyro on the stage has actually been big for him so far here. Uh, it'll probably come out a little bit more because right now Zamba's in advantage state looking to take the stock. There goes a Gyro sending Wrath off in a very perilous scenario. Oh, the neutral get up, but it's not the right timing. You drop shield at the wrong time, bud. And the bear's not going to connect, but they're going off stage and the scrap ends up with Wrath taking the stock. Those techs were just insane dude, yeah. from Zamba because not only were they you know, multiple techs there. They're right at super high percent. Fight against stays right on the border of untechability. Out of multi-hit, the timing is just so hard. But Zamba, you don't drop those. He's no. here now, out trying to take the second stock off Wrath. But Ooh. just like that, 60%. And we're seeing last stock from a game ago happen again. And at 186 units, you can't kill across stage even with a down smash. Zamba just feels like he's getting these hits, he's getting the version taking these stops, but can't figure out a way to get that final one once Wrath just says, okay, I'm gonna lock in on the defense right now. Yeah, I do not like the option choices here from Zamba. I mean, obviously the kid knows what he's doing, but he is searching for the kill in a scenario where he is in the lead. Um, this is exactly what Wrath wants, looking for those openings that Zamba's given him. And uh, now the cross up, right? Mm -hmm. I, I, the parry in turn. Zamba just not starting to be unable to catch Wrath because the game even. So Wrath saying, okay, I'm going to slow it down a little bit. I'll take some time off the clock. <laughs> Tries to catch you with a back here, but Zamba finally going to get a punish on one of those buttons. No even still, it's way. not enough. And Big M, are we, are we about to see a 3-0? Uh, that would be a little bit tough to get packed up in winter side like that. Uh, but, you know, the... The Rob Extraordinaire, you know, he's seen tougher spots and come back, but he's also been in the scenario where he just kind of gets rocked. And remember, too, this is a 2-0. Zama's had a big lead last stock both games. Mm. This time, it's Wrath's turn. Wrath says, okay, I can play the defensive game. I can camp you out. I can mess with my spring, which I haven't been able to do. And I can live to 183%. Oh. Zamba just not recognizing that that gyro had despawned. Now at 100 I don't want to say it's over till, until it's over, but I mean, hey, that Nair might be the only thing that just prevented that one from being over. Yeah, and that's also the thing that might prevent, you know, Zamba from going down here 3-0. If he's able to hit a very good Nair, we all have seen it before. And time and time again, this Rob can take stocks in the blink of an eye. And you see him going high, right, trying to get that extra safety on the neutral air as well. Looking for it there, but when you hit those Nair that high, you're not able to find the double dog. Zamba just saying, using it to get off ledge. I like that quick d d drop, though to get out of dodge right to contest the spin dash and I like him he's holding this gyro in hand using it defensively now has an Ooh. opportunity at ledge this one could be huge yeah it, it's not as flashy as the double toss but Zamba's getting a good advantage state here and honestly one mistake it Rob can still take your stock yeah man I mean one mistake against Zamba and it absolutely can be curtain but Wrath has not made one so far finally a back air going to call out and space properly uh -oh. the air dodge there is that mistake but it's not gonna be enough Zamba gonna miss the down air the up air as well and the back air he's throwing those burners in every direction but Wrath's in none of them this man is so fast he's making you see ghosts oh. and Zamba finally gets it gets on the board 
forces a game throw four, but the question is, what's he gonna do the next two games? Yeah, put up a Herculean effort just to take one game against the blue blur, blur and uh, that either is a great thing or a terrible thing for Zamba because if you put that much effort to win this game, that means you have to put up even more to kind of push this set to that game five, but Zamba obviously has it in him. Maybe this opens up its just like a second gear, a fifth gear even, uh, to his gameplay. Yeah, the question is how many gears right Rob's got in that <laughs> gearbox, how many times can he shift through on that clutch factor for sure, but right now, you know, it's all about those adjustments. Zamba made a lot that game, but the question is how more, any more tricks does he have up his sleeve? Wrath is the coin box grinder to end them all, right? Yeah. Nobody plays more opponents on a weekly basis than this guy does at the top level. Nobody makes more adjustments, and so you have to to find a way to stay disciplined and stay locked in in this slow and desperate slaughter number. Yeah, it's like playing Sonic at the top level, it's insane. You have to have just endless stamina, you know, and it, you have to play consistently, you have to play frequently because this, these are the type of scenarios you're going to find yourself in in these long drawn out sets and to run out of gas now would be terrible. Yeah, well, still has some left in the burner here going Ooh. all the way up, just barely avoiding and that reach to the stars from Wrath, even still though, just not able to get down 160 to 23, right? Wrath had him at max rage before Zombie even landed a hit. That one was off a of foot tool there, finally gets one, finally gets a push to the corner, but still just can't stop these spin dashes from charging. Can't close the gap before Wrath has the next action ready. And right now it just feels like he can't keep up with the speed. Yeah, yeah, but we've seen in here the gyro play. I think that's the key factor to this Agreed. matchup, at least for Rob's side to win it all, is uh, to be able to use that gyro and stuff out all of uh, Sonic's movement. Yeah, and that gyro, right, whether it's, it's on stage to lock you down angles, right, we've seen the multi-hit and single-hit spin dash kind of pop you up, but you still get hit by it, or oh. it's something else like that rotor arm to catch a landing off the spring, whether it's the gyro in hand to be able to be used defensively and cover space, right? Threaten the first rain on Sonic in a way that few can. I mean, Zamba has to play this defense immaculately, but now that it's an even game again, I mean, he doesn't even have the benefit of a lead to help to make force Wrath to come in. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And um, this is tough. I mean, even Steven on the second stock and so far so good for Zamba, racking up this percent with this advantage state, but Wrath able to Wheel out there, uh, burning out with that homing attack. Weird option to open up, but Zama with some sneaky DI there with those momentum shifts, right? Finds his way out, even though Wrath able to pick it back up, still is on a second advantage state, so Zamba not quite in the dangerous position he was before. Or however, these single hit nares right, ha have been one of the, all of the Sonic players, right? Late game meta innovations. They've gotten so good at finding those hits to pop you up, get the combo started, and Zama just hasn't had a way to answer these combo starters or mix up from Wrath so far. Yeah, honestly, Sonic Nair, the more you look at it, the more crooked it kind of gets. Because I, I know that move stays out a long time, but it, it, that hitbox is acting for a long time. He also right, curls up into a ball, right? It makes him a little bit harder to hit because he gets oh, yeah. just a bit smaller to boot. I love that spring timing, right? To get on off. However, there, Wrath not going to get caught crossed up by the DI, so he's going to hold that stock. Zama just clanking, clanking, <laughs> trying again, but it's going to be Wrath coming out on top. Whoever takes this second stock could be in a perfect position to take the game because these two while going back and forth while stealing the lead away from each other i mean listen big m honestly whoever takes the stock first might just lose the game because whoever's gone la uh, gone in the last stock with the lead has lost every single game of this set <laughs> oh yeah but there goes the up air and honestly there's no way you'd feel bad about that as zombo because you now have the lead it, it, it like you said, even though factually the person who gets the lead is losing the game, it could very much still stay true here. Yeah, and, and Zamba had it for a second when it matters most. Now the metric is going to say, hey, can Zamba force game five or is Wrath going to hold the prophecy true? He's racking up the damage here in the corner. We've seen Zamba here once before. He wasn't able to get out, but the single hit of the up air, that second one missing, means that Zamba gets one more chance at this one. Wrath can't find a way past the gyro, but does with platform in turn, able to keep this advantage state going, but Zamba with some patience to give himself some more time. Yeah, that's, oh my goodness, there's just a couple of mistakes Rat's doing, and it opens up Zamba's offense so clearly. And oh man, a no trip on that down tilt puts Zamba in a bad scenario, but the air dodge, that has been punished every single time by Zamba there, but not hard this time. 
Wrath gets the fight another day and looks for the spring up air. Man, Ritual, they're both trying to put this one away. Yeah, they very much are, but with Wrath having Zamba in the corner, he has to burn the double jump just to get back. I like the mix-up. It's the first time we've Ooh. seen it, right? The adjustments are still coming out from Zamba, but he is being pushed to the limit every single game. First laser he's hit uh, in the air. All set long. Whoa! It gets the read. This download is complete, my friend. The gigabit at Ethernet finally kicked in. The robots got the download, got the upload, finally locks in and forces the game number five. The question is, does he have enough in the tank to do it? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, they recently upgraded fiber. It's giving speeds we've never seen before. We can see that robot. It's benefiting greatly. The, the amount of patience and collection that Zamba has had to get even to just this point, a game five with Rat. Not many could do that. No, sir, especially down 2-0, right? Zamba in the process <laughs> now, forcing a reverse 3-0. Even though Wrath is about as patient, cool, calm, and collected as they come, the pressure is on him now. Yes, yes, very much so. So, moving on, we're on PS2, where the best games are made, and it seems like this one will be another one for the history books. I'm excited to see. Both players have been utilizing the stage uh, to its maximum, you know. Like you mentioned, the longest stage in our legal rule set, being able to just kind of utilize that gyro from cross country, uh, being able to spin dash left and right. It, it's just been quite the show to watch. And, you know, I want to shout out Zamba here for from start to finish, win or lose, right? It's been the custom combos all the way. It's been the gyro that's been the MVP to link it all together, but it's not been the combos we're used to seeing. The up till up air finally showing you a Rob Bread and Butter in this set, but even still, it's not enough getting you pushed to the corner, but some tricky spin dash movement means that Sonic is going to get out of dodge, even still going to miss the up air, and Zamba starting to call out these falling up air, That's getting big. a sock, and this is the biggest lead we've seen from either player in this game or in the set. Yeah, had to do the reverse down smash there because the back hit of Rob down smash is a stronger, and speaking of stronger, Zamba just looking more powerful in this game five. Yeah, gets the trip though, that's absolutely huge. Gonna push you to platform, stuck between a rock and a hard place. Ace Wrath's gonna DI in there, so he gets oh, pushed man. up and gets juggled. Now he gets back down to the stage, utilizing that with the high platform to mix up his landing, but there's a Zombear that we know, we love, and is basically patent pending at this point, because Zomba not gonna let up. It feels like he really has finally got that internet speed to keep up with this blue blur. But the question is, can Wrath take the stock? Because once the stock counts, even anything possible. Oh, chance time, and we get the DI correctly. Wrath lives to fight another day, but for how long, Ritual? The stock is at 142. Really, the next big Rob hit will just send the blue bird off the top. Yes, sir, and the, the difference between that 2-2, two -two, even at 142, right? And three stocks to one is immense. Now, Amba, even though he can throw out these rotor arms, throw out the gyros and try and find some stock, have to be careful because we've seen Wrath put on this much percent in just one advantage state before. Indeed, indeed. You can see Zamba actually try to be patient, but there's the opening that Wrath needed. He's been able to get a lot more off of it uh, earlier on, but you can see Zamba a lot more cool and collected in the advantage state. But now, as soon as I say that, gets an air down to read, Wrath puts it up to 79. Zamba doesn't care. Toss it to the wind, sends that Nair his way, not quite killing. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, just the just the ping pong, pink and plop off. Right, because <laughs> you're just gonna push him to the blast zone. One more stock remaining. Zamba is locked in here. And finally, right, broke that curse but last game, forced the game five with the lead. Now he's trying to do it again. And Wrath still playing that patient game, still not forcing interaction. He doesn't feel confident and and it has paid in dividend. He is one hit away now from after barely almost going down three stocks to one. This is almost an even game now. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And these two colliding in the air. Every trade not gonna go in Rat's way until he takes that stock to 150 percent. But you know, Zamba not having a care in the world. I mean, listen. I think he's got one, and it's that ta in-game tag, right? It's yeah, his it girlfriend, and that's who he wants to win for. You know he is locked in, singularly focused right now on nothing but victory, and Wrath needs the Wrath of the Gods if he's going to have a chance here, because right now he is not able to pin down Zamba. This timer's ticking down three and a half minutes. We're not in timeout territory yet, but if they don't find the hits on each other, we very well could be. Zamba, though, getting an advantage state, trying to seal this one here. Yeah, it feels like the timer has kind of been a non-factor, especially for a Sonic set. But honestly, both players can really just slow it down here. Really never know. So I'm at too high a percent there with the SDI yeah. for the spin and dash the combo into the forward air. Wrath counting on a confirm that just might not exist. And this is where Rob's weight can 
benefit him because now Wrath just needs to find a call out to close it out and is running out of room to work with on his own. Yeah, but the nice parry into the F tilt, a solid way to clean up the stock. Wrath, he's found it before. He's been in this scenario before in the set alone. Uh, he just has to, have to find that opening, find that big advantage state, put Zamba on a poster, have him in the hot seat here. But man, there goes a, a faulty Nair. Another one. Yeah, and that's a big punish here. Even still, Zamba throwing out those lasers up close has gotten him punished all set long. Um, it has been his worst habit throughout this one. And now Wrath hasn't been kill percent in this one. No, anyone's no, no, game no, big. No. M looking for the Zamba here, but it's not going to find his mark. Wrath's going to get the cross. I'll push you to the corner. This could be it right now. Oh, they are meeting each other into the sky. Nice shield. This could be the last interaction of the game here. Ritual, the back airs. Trade blow for blow onto the shield. Wrath trying to get him again, oh. finds it in the top, and Wrath gonna close it out, gets the bomb off, the chair is gone, and holy moly, he takes it. Mutes, Mutes might have almost, almost been the one to really get KO there, because inches, inches away, literally inches away from hitting him. Holy mackerel, what a way to close it out. Yeah, yeah. And Wrath on the high horse from that one. A big way. And uh, I think we have a casualty of the pop-off. That headset does not look intact. No. I, I, think, I think we might have. I think oh. we might have uh, lost a headset. We might have. Okay. This is. Okay. So for, as production telling us too. This is actually the second time Georgia has caused property damage at this event. Lovely. George, hey. He might be from Florida. But. Is it Hungry Box Honorary Georgia at this point? <laughs> I, think, I, I think so, maybe, maybe. That is insane. That is insane. A very worthy pop-off, though, being able to take down one of the favorites in the tournament in a very close game five set. And it almost 